What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. We'll be having our live stream in about four hours from now uh, for our you know Sunday get together. You know we do it every weekend. Uh, if you are a channel member, you can be part of the crew. Um, you know, Twitter, Twitter is raw. Uh, hang on for a second. Alexa, can you turn on bar lights? Okay. There we go. I need, I, I need the blue lights behind me. Okay. So if you are a Twitter person, you know, Twitter is definitely evolving and Twitter don't play Twitter and Twitter. Don't forget either. Twitter will come back and bite you in the ass big time. And it's always nice when skip bayless gets bit in the ass you know for cowboy fans for real cowboy fans you really hate skip bayless skip bayless is uh it's just bad it's just awful he's the worst of the worst but be that as it may this is where we go back because skip bayless is deemed that expert out there skip bayless you know he knows what he's talking about he's you know that the cowboys biggest fan and everything my cowboys and all that stuff i think he's just a jackass myself but hey what do i know but let's get to it so you are going bust uh, if he's a first round shoot even my really like top th three rounds he's a, he's a, a fifth or sixth round grade if you have a compensatory pick grabbed him there but not in the first round. I'm sorry, I got a question. Are you saying that Johnny Manziel Ooh. may not even be worth a pick in the first three rounds? Oh, I wouldn't. There's there, The project is so nasty. There are so many so, major flaws. So what are your thoughts about people who believe he should be the first overall pick? <laughs> Shots fired. You know, obviously it's not a perfect science, but I think people who will take him in the first round, I'm if you first did, overall. First if you took it first overall, I would think that staff would be gone in two years, and whoever made that pick would be gone in two years. You don't make that pick based oh. on the other players that are available to you. Mm. You make that pick, we got to question your evaluating players and their transition and their ability to transition to the National Football League very highly. Wow. With all due respect, you have never, ever been more wrong in your assessment of a football player than you just were about Johnny Manziel. <laughs> Not only will Houston forever regret if they don't take Johnny with the first overall pick, but he, he won't be a bust. He's going to be a franchise player. <laughs> He's going to be a star. He will make pro bowls. Cliff Kingsbury, do you know Cliff or do you know Ooh. his path? Cliff played some pro football. He was Johnny's quarterback coach as a freshman, now the head coach at Texas Tech. When I, la when I asked Cliff, will these skills translate to pro football, he chuckled for about a minute at me on the phone. Chuckled. He said, Skip, he's going to be a star. Really quickly, so where should he go him. then? Well, not number one. I would take right. Khalil Mack in a heartbeat over him, and I wouldn't even sweat about it, and I will have a much better. If even if he develops, he's still not going to be better than Khalil Mack as a football player. Wow. Wow. That, that, do, do you need to hear it again? Skip Bayless. Oh, my God. Skip Bayless, who is, you know, I, Skip Bayless used to be, used to be okay. Skip Bayless has just gotten to be the shock jock who just looks to say the craziest shit ever to try and get a response. You know, this is the same guy who, you know, will talk about Dak Prescott's my quarterback and then throw his jersey in the trash for value. And I think what's happened with Skip Bayless is the evolution of sports from where ESPN used to be, you know, it used to be you got your sports statistics, you got your sports games, you got your highlights and stuff, and you could make your own decision. Well, of course, you know, first take was, you know, groundbreaking after PTI, and it ended up being that, you know, between Skip and um, Stephen A. Smith, that they had all the oxygen in the room. Well, now there's so many different shows that all are basically the same formula. 
you basically have to outskip the skip. You know, we've got ass, ass, and so on. So Skip Bayless has just literally gone from any kind of credibility on anything that he says to mainly just trying to get a reaction out of stuff. Sometimes it gets him in trouble. You've seen Shannon Sharp kind of get pissed off at him and, you know, go after him and things. And you've seen condemnation when he talked about Dak Prescott and him admitting that, you know, I get depressed and having lost his mother to cancer and his brother to suicide. You can understand that, especially with jackasses out there that are always, you know, basically saying he's the worst football player in the history of football players and that he just sucks and this, that, and the other. When statistics will bear it out a little differently. Uh, guys that suck, Johnny Manziel. A guy that Skip Bayless said, yeah, he's going to be a franchise player. Merrill Hodge, you're an idiot. Okay, well, you know, it seems like Skip Bayless has looked more like the idiot than anybody else. I, I got to play this one more time because I love it. So you are going bust. Uh, if he's a first round, shoot, even not really a top th three rounds. He's, a, he's a, a fifth or sixth round grade. If you have a compensatory pick, draft him there. But not in the first round. Uh, I'm sorry, I got a question. Are you saying that Johnny Manziel may not even be worth a pick in the first three rounds? Oh, I wouldn't. There's, the, the project is so massive. There's so massive. Major flaws. So what are your thoughts about people who believe he should be the first overall pick well, in the draft. Listen, you know, obviously it's not a perfect science, but I think people who will take him in the first round, I'm if sorry, you first did, overall. First if you overall. took him first overall, I would think that staff would be gone in two years. Wow. If you ever made that pick, be gone in two years. You wow. don't make that pick based on the other players that are available to you. You make that pick, we got a question, you're evaluating players and their transition and their ability to transition to the National Football League very highly. Merrill Hodge, with all due respect, you have never ever been more wrong in your assessment of a football player than you just were about Johnny Manziel. Not only will Houston forever regret if they don't take Johnny with the first overall pick, but he, he won't be a bust, mm. he's going to be a franchise player. He's going to be a star. He will make pro bowls. Cliff <laughs> Kingsbury, do you know Cliff? Or you know, do you know Cliff? Cliff played some pro football. He was Johnny's quarterback coach as a freshman. Now the head coach. At and a bust with the, with the Cardinals. I, when I ask Cliff, will these skills translate to pro football? Mm -hmm. He chuckled for about a minute at me on the phone. <laughs> chuckled. Chuckled. He said. He chuckled. He's going to be a star. A star. Where should he go then? <laughs> Well, not number one. I would take right. Khalil Mack in a heartbeat over him, and I wouldn't even sweat about it. And I will have a much if, – even if he develops, he's still not going to be better than Khalil Mack as a football player. There you have it, good people. All right. I will see you guys later. Just love – I just love when they go after and trash skip. Peace. Um, I have a video of Michael Irving that – Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> Damn. Fucking wind. Ow.